From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. We are keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Ian, that system on track to strengthen into a hurricane within the next 24 hours. Governor Ron DeSantis declaring a state of emergency, adding urban search and rescue teams are on standby. Even though South Florida continues to shift its way out of the cone, residents still getting storm ready. Our cameras capturing long lines for gas at a Costco in Davie on Saturday. And Monroe County, some residents closing the shutters on their businesses and homes. Police searching for a shooter who opened fire in the middle of Miami's busy Wynwood area happened on Sunday at Northwest 23rd Street and First Court. One man was hit by bullets. He was rushed to Jackson Memorial's Ryder Trauma Center. Officials say he does appear to be alert and conscious. No arrests have been made. Police still investigating what led up to that shooting. And police investigating a fatal shooting in Miami's Overtown neighborhood happened Saturday night along Northwest 3rd Avenue, just steps away from Frederick, Frederick Douglas Elementary School. Police found a man in his 20s suffering from gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the hospital. That is where he later died. So far, no arrests have been made. And new developments in the penalty phase, the Parkland school shooters trial. A judge ruled the state will be allowed to show jurors all the swastikas etched on the rifle and backpack used by the gunman on the day of the 2018 massacre. It will be submitted as evidence related to the prosecutor's witness diagnosing the shooter with antisocial personality disorder. Along with the gunman's social media and internet searches, there will be certain limits as to how much can be presented. Court is scheduled to resume tomorrow. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered throughout the day on air and online. Head to local10.com for the very latest updates.